Let's look at an example of using a chain rule to solve a problem. We want to find the derivative of z with respect to x, where z is equal to y to the 5 times sine 3x, and in turn y is equal to e to the 4x. So one way we could think about this is z here is clearly a function of x and y, and in turn y is also a function of x. So we can draw a tree diagram to see how to apply the chain rule here. So z is expressed in terms of two variables, x and y, and in turn y is expressed in terms of one variable, x. And that means at this first step, for instance, we're going to need to calculate the partial derivative day z, day x, since z is in terms of x and another variable y. And similarly, we're going to be using the partial derivative day z, day y here. But y is a function of a single variable x, so at that stage we're also going to need to compute the full derivative dy dx. And that means that to calculate dz dx, following this branch it's going to be the partial derivative day z day x, plus following this branch partial derivative day z day y times dy dx. Now we were told that z was equal to y to the 5 times sine 3x, therefore to work out the partial derivative of z with respect to x first of all, that will be treating y as a constant, so that will be y to the power of 5 stays the same, and sine 3x will differentiate to become 3 cos 3x. Or we could just tidy that up a bit to get that therefore the partial derivative of z with respect to x is 3y to the 5 times cos 3x. Similarly, to work out the partial derivative of z with respect to y, x is now treated as a constant, and we're differentiating with respect to y, so that y to the 5 sine 3x will become 5y to the 4 times sine 3x. Now in our original information, we we're also told that y equals e to the power of 4x, and that means that dy dx just differentiating that with respect to x gives 4 e to the 4x. So we can now combine all of this information together to determine that dz dx is equal to partial derivative of z with respect to x, which we found was 3y to the 5 cos 3x, plus the partial derivative of z with respect to y, which was 5y to the 4 sine 3x times dy dx, which was 4 e to the 4x. And we can just tidy that up a bit to see that that is 3y to the 5 cos 3x, and here we have 5 by 4, so plus 20y to the 4 e to the 4x sine 3x. Now, you'll notice that that expression is in terms of both x and y. If we wanted to rewrite this just as a function of x, what would we do? Well, if we wanted this just as a function of x, we could substitute y equals e to the 4x into the relevant parts of this expression to get that dz dx is then equal to 3 times e to the 4x raised to the power of 5 times cos 3x plus 20 and again y to the 4 so that's going to be e to the 4x to the power of 4 and that's still multiplied by e to the 4x times sine 3x so this expression will look like that and then finally we could just tidy that up a bit using our index laws to get 3 e to the 20x times cos 3x 
plus 20 times and here we have e to the 4x to the 4 which is e to the 16x times e to the 4x which gives e to the 20x and again multiplied by sine 3x. So that would be our answer if we were to express that as a function of x.